So where do you guys want to start? I would say I want to focus on like learning from you as far as scaling up our business because what we've done is over the last 14, 15 months, we went from zero to about 270K last month. And I know we're nowhere near where, where we can be, but I find it's myself- It's exciting, man. Dude, it's, it's crazy, crazy. <laughs> buddy. It's awesome, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, super yeah. exciting. But I know that it's, you know, no, nowhere, I mean, most people doing what we're doing aren't even close to this, but I, but I don't want to like look at the competition and get complacent, you know, and I want to continue to think big and, and really like jump after this. So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just trying, we're, we're adding a sales team and, you know, some phone sales and some other stuff, just trying to focus on, you know, what can we do to, you know, really scale up our business and, and get a lot of attention. So you're helping a lot of people. Now, now I want to know what Lauren does. Uh, <laughs> Lauren does, um, I guess you could call me the baby Elena. I try to help them all out and I, I do a lot of the finance work. I pay the people, um, try to have the good culture, create a good culture. Um, you do some stuff help on him, too, yeah. But, yeah. but that's yeah. kind of the role yeah. I play, I guess. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. That, that, that should not be underestimated, the, you know, pushing him back out there and saying, go get some more, do some more. Yes. What are you doing home store with? It's going to take more than just the two of you guys to do this. Yeah. When 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 uh, Lauren said, "Hey, uh, I, you know, Elena's my biggest fan." I got a bunch of people here that are fans of mine. Like Sherry, Sherry without Sherry, I think Sherry would jump in front of a truck before Elena would. How did you create that? So Cody just hired two new, um, an assistant kind of for me and then assistant for him. How did you create that bond that they would do that? That Sherry would jump in a truck for you. Yeah, because I, I'm convinced that the way we did it was not something that I did with Sherry, but that I got rid of the other people that wouldn't do it. Mm. I love it. Yeah. So it's the hardest thing. Like, nobody talks about getting rid of people. There's no books about it. It's like, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff on turnover's a bad thing, don't get rid of people, Cut, uh, employees aren't happy, and they give you 20 reasons why people aren't happy. Let me tell you something, you need to get rid of people. I had this conversation with Sherry yesterday. It has been six months, Sherry, since we fired somebody in a major position. From me running the business solely, from August of last year till now, we've got uh, like a dozen people, and so it, it just keeps growing every week. It scares, yeah. scares her to death. Payroll keeps going up, you know, but honestly, like, that's what it has to, I mean, we, we've got an awesome team and it just keeps growing and it has to grow, you know? Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the attention and the scale, all right? I mean, the way to scale is to decide, number one, hey, we're gonna grow no matter what. That means you're gonna, you're gonna negatively impact some cash flow in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So things are gonna be skinny. You're gonna have to eat peanut butter and jelly sometimes. But the expansion is probably more important than the the T bone, right? Or the car. Yeah. Like I see a lot of guys go out there and they start like I see it all the time on Instagram. Guys trying to fly private. I'm like, what is, what is this dude doing getting off of a jet? Like it is to me, it is so dumb watching this dude. Yeah. Because it's like, bro, you're not there yet. There is no way. I know enough about money to know what that guy's doing, what he makes, that that for him to be flying private at this point would be ridiculous. That money should be going back into the business and expanding the attention. Okay, so, so I'm just using the jet as an example, right? So what one picture with a jet is gonna is not is not that's not how people grow their business. And and you know, look look at all the guys that are making the big money, they're not on Facebook and Instagram. All the big players aren't on it. So we see a handful of people right now that are playing the game on YouTube and Instagram like, wow, man, that guy's making a lot of money. This guy, the big, the big businesses, if you're going to build a big business, you're not going to build it because you're there. You're going to build it because you use it right. as a distribution network to get attention, but it's not going to be because you're scrolling through to see who's doing what. That's good. Makes sense. Right? We, we don't have people on Instagram calling me saying, I want to buy a $10,000 ticket right now. I, I want to hook up for a 12-month contract. I want to do, you know, that's just not happening. Right? They, they comment, oh, man, I love that. I love this. What, whatever, right? That, the, the reason, so there's a little, the, the attention thing is a little bridge. It's like one of those rickety 
bridges, wooden bridges over the Grand Canyon or over a canyon that you have to walk over and there's lava underneath and, and, and a dragon's threatening to kill you. So you got to walk along this thing carefully, right? Like not look down too much, not look around, just get to the other side. That's the only reason you're using the social media. Right. And, and you, you make a good point because that's something that I'm getting better at. And when once you build a team, it actually starts to help because you get, you know, you get freaking complaints, haters, crazy comments, people that hate your guts, people that want refunds and you know, all this stuff, all this stuff going on around. But it's like the bigger we get, honestly, the, the less I worry about all that because, you know, then you've got, you've got a team messing with it. You know, you're, you're it. They don't affect where the train's moving, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so your job every day is to go in there and and to keep not just keep getting attention out, but keep attention in. What, what's what's crazy too is once we started spending a grand a day on on you know Facebook, YouTube, uh, and Google um, back in literally right after we got back from the growth con, crazy as it is, it's like. That's what I got out of it, like freaking just think bigger and freaking was, spend some money. It changed uh, the game. Yeah, that, that really started to just started to grow every single freaking week. Yeah. You know? but, but what you need to do is you need to understand that you cost money. Okay, this is a very complicated thing that happens with business owners. People that own a business tend to see themselves in the business different than they would if you hired somebody to do your job. You guys have a job. You need to pay yourselves a salary. Now, the reason you want to set your salary, you want to set your salary so that in the future, when you're hiring people, you're like, bro, I pay myself five grand a month. Yeah. Okay. And you want 10. How am I going to pay you 10 when I pay myself five? So you guys need to set a salary there. Right now, you're paying other people more than you pay yourselves. Correct. So so, so it's very, very important for, for somebody that's going to be a self-employed person, run their own business. You need to treat yourselves like you're on the payroll. Everything above the eight grand, dude, you are to spend. Good. I like that. Dude, I love spending money, so it's... Yeah, yeah. And then, and then okay, you can so... start measuring, okay, where are you going to spend it to get more attention, to get more customers, to, to even spend money to show off your successes to counter the quitters. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe you're going to take, you know, 12000 bucks a year and give it away to some of your best your most successful cases that you're working with. There you go. I like that. That's All cool. right. Uh, what are you guys going to do as a result of our call today? I'm going to give them a salary. <laughs> spend more money. Yeah. Think bigger. Uh, hey, real quick, what can I do? Like, I'm starting to build out a sales team to try to help replace, not replace me, but to grow. Uh, What's some advice on that real quick? You're gonna hire a bunch of people that don't work. Yeah, I, I'm, I got rid of one last night after his first day, so. Yeah, so don't get frustrated. It's gonna be ugly. And um, I mean, let's face it, dude, making phone calls is a hard deal. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like lifting 500 pounds in the beginning. I don't understand. I mean, it is. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand why, but it clearly is. I mean, that's. It is hard, bro. You, you need to understand it's hard. It's a hard thing. I know people that would rather go to Afghanistan to make a cold call. <laughs> you, dude, you ain't lying. Dude, I, I saw, I saw a guy sign up for the Marines. He's like, I'm going to go do two years over there. I'm not doing phones. So it's just a, it's a huge confront. It's calling somebody you don't know. It's, you know, it, it, it's a tough deal. So the second thing I would tell you is you definitely need people in the environment and you need some leadership back there. And, and no, nobody, even when you provide, you know, you need bodies. I need bodies back there. I need, I need bodies and somebody has got to manage the bodies to make sure they're moving around. Cool. So I don't I don't know how we've created that thing that we have back there. Yeah. And and uh, but you need bodies back there. You need people back there. You need to announce that people are winning. You need to sh you know spend time with those guys. Get them excited. Are they all on card on you? We have card on we you. We have card on you, individuals. but 
No, not anymore. I guess. Yeah, you got you got to get them a card on you. You can you you should not be spending time training people. You should not train. You should not spend any time telling somebody how to make a call, take a call, or how to handle an objection. I spent half my day yesterday. Yeah. Huh? I spent half my day yesterday. So. That's a complete waste of time, bro. You're not a trainer. Don't be a trainer. There's no money in being a trainer. Very valid point. You should, you should be taking turns. You should be sending out follow-up calls. You should be touching customers all day long. I never train these people. We give them card on you, watch it. Okay, we look at, okay, did they log in or not? Todd's in there right now, making sure every person logged in today. Nice. If you're not getting your training, we're getting rid of it. You train before you get here. You don't get. You don't train when you get here. When you get here, you're making phone calls. Dude, the, the, if you spent two or three hours talking to these people last year, last, yesterday, they can't make phone calls when you're talking to them. Right. And they weren't. So you got to be clear about your role, right? You're not a trainer. Get card on you. Make them use it. Just like whip them into it. So <laughs> you you ask me how we have what we have back there. They listen to one guy, me. They go to card on you, they listen to me about handling objections, follow up, like they're hearing it. The people that are most successful in this company are the ones that listen to Grant the most. They don't listen to Todd, they don't listen to Jared, they don't listen to Sherry, they listen to Grant the most. And they watch before they come to work. Before they come to work, they watch. At night they watch. We can see when they're watching, the guy's having trouble. Dude, you're not doing, you're not doing enough training. I don't want Todd telling them what to do. I want them to listen to what I tell them what to do. Yeah. So you either, you either got to go put all your stuff on video, create 1,500 videos, add test questions, edit the videos, or you need to get, get all of them on card on you and say, here's our guy, this is our partner, watch it. And then what you do when you go in there is, who can I help you with? Well, this guy doesn't want to buy, this guy wants to unload, whatever, whatever. You, you need right. to handle talking to people, not talking to them. Good. That's good. That's, 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 that's super good. Yeah. That's, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, right. buddy. You're awesome. Hey, next time I talk to you guys, man, y'all need to be at like two million a month. There's, you ain't lying. So, so, so my goal of one million a month is too small. That's what you're telling me. No, no, you, no. That's that's good. That could be your next stop. That's a good goal, man. Cool. But but you just go ahead and just go ahead and plan out for two point seven million, and then if your next stop is one million, it's not like I'm gonna hold it against you. Yeah. True that. Thank, thank you, brother. Appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate yes. your time appreciate so you. much. Appreciate you guys. Pleasure, pleasure spending time with you. Yeah, yeah you too. It's okay. It's okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you.